He wants the police to reopen the case and search this house. Has anyone noticed that there has been no video um, or tweets from, from Trisha Paytas? I hate Chuck E. Cheese. I always thought it was like a germ factory. I Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. We had a great week last week. Um, got a lot of views. I hope y'all liked it. Our last video was about Trisha uh, Paytas and Jason Nash drama from the Vlog Squad and just Trisha in general. Um, so today, I wanted to do another little mukbang. Ryan can't join us today. He is gallivanting about Ireland, so I hope he's having fun with his friends. Um, and he better get back to class soon. So we're having a little pad thai, chicken pad thai. And this here is red uh, chicken curry, and I have a little white rice to go with it. And so I wanted to start off talking today um, about Shane Dawson's video last night. Did everyone watch it? Um, I watched it pretty much as soon as it came up. It was about out, out for about 23 minutes. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So peanutty. Mmm. I love Thai food. And I never ate Thai food till I was like in my 30s. I had gone to Thai food once and I just did not like it. And my husband ended up taking me somewhere and I loved it. I had it again and I loved it. And he made fun of me because I was a really picky eater when we first met. I really only eat chicken. <laughs> Very bland. But anyway. So last night, Shane kind of blew the top off Chuck E. Cheese. I am so fascinated by this because, you know, I now have older kids and so we don't really go to Chuck E. Cheese that often, but actually we don't ever really go. I haven't been there since. You know, good 15, 20 years. I guess under 20, but. Um, so, they did this whole thing about how Chuck E. Cheese could possibly be taking the pizza slices off people's plates and recycling them. How disgusting is that? How disgusting. Very. I was just grossed out by listening to it. So gross. But I think that's illegal too. I mean, I can't imagine that that's legal to do under health codes. So, um, they also touched upon like the video games and tickets and um, teaching kids to gamble at a young age which I totally agree with. Um, but they put pizzas back together and then they took a ruler to show how the slices don't match up. And everyone knows when you get a pizza or you make a pizza, you just take your pizza slicer and go right across to cut the pie. And um, the slices were not matching up by any means. The pepperoni weren't uh, pepperoni pieces were sliced in half, but they didn't match up. So they actually went in and um, got their own pizza and did a little undercover and tried to see if they took the pizza back from behind the table. And I don't think they actually saw it being taken, or maybe they did, and he just didn't put it in because he didn't want to get sued. Oh, this is so good. Here's the chicken pad, uh, curry, red curry chicken. And here it is right in the bowl. It looks better in this bowl, but I can't tip it very well. So, so anyway, back to Shane. So they did this whole thing and I don't know my conclusion. I think I'm going to go to a Chuck E. Cheese around here in Florida. I bet down here, I bet the health department doesn't even check Chuck E. Cheese. I don't even know where there's a Chuck E. Cheese. 
I didn't think you could go into Chuck E. Cheese without children. I thought you had to have children. It was a little weird to see three, you know, grown men filming. And I know they blurred everyone's faces and stuff. Oops, I dropped my chopsticks. I'm making a giant mess today. Um, yeah, and I thought that was weird, but I guess Chuck E. Cheese lets that happen. I'm gonna look up Chuck E. Cheese's policies too to see about that. Because I, I bet they probably, I don't know. I thought you couldn't, <clears throat> like just men couldn't go in and sit there. Which is exactly what they were doing. I thought it was whole, really weird. They weren't bothering anyone, but I wasn't worried about them. I'm more worried about the people that could do that. So I have a question Put in the comments below if you know. Is this sticky rice? And what's the difference between white rice and sticky rice? Or is it the same? Are they different grains? I have no idea. My husband and I were saying I think this is sticky rice, but I'm not sure. This place sells sushi too, so. I don't know, they use the same rice. It's really good, whatever it is. So delish. Mm. Then Shane interviewed one of his old friends from YouTube. She, she kind of got scammed, it sounded like. Um, not, I mean, I think she met this guy on Tinder. I better check that. I think it was Tinder. I'm not really familiar with the dating app, so this was all news to me. Um, I know you swipe right and swipe left or whatever. And then you get matched up with someone that's close to you or in your area. And I know there's Grindr. Or... While I'm looking for this, has anyone noticed that there has been no video um, or tweets from, from Trisha Paytas in like a week. I hope she's okay. I would really like to know what's going on with her and Jason. Jason was on David's vlog this morning, but I think that had been filmed before. So it's interesting. Brittany, B-R-I-T-T-A-N-I, -T -T and she has a book called Sucky Love Story. Anyway. She used to be a YouTuber. She met this guy and he, there's so many things that like sent alarms off in my head. She met this guy on Tinder. He said he was a doctor, which, okay. But he was taking time off before he went to work. And then it was like he was 27 or 28 when, um, she met him. The guy claimed he was a doctor and like a Russian billionaire. Um, anyway, got her pregnant right away, which ladies just use protection. Seriously. Anyway, then she got pre pregnant and she had the baby. And they're going to move to San Diego. And they started taking all these pictures of her, a professional photographer, in front of a white screen, no matter. And so she thinks that they were trying to get in passport photos and her passport renewed. And anyway, to make a long story short, when the baby was born, the lady that was quote unquote his mother, which she doesn't even think is his mother now, um, he was in the room with her. And like, took the baby right away. After she had the baby, they wanted to take the baby back to Eastern Europe, which they think it was Serbia or Croatia. And she was like, hmm, this is all weird. And they're like, we have to get his birth, uh, his passport done really well. I mean, really quickly. And and it was like really strange and things weren't adding up to her. And finally, they weren't adding up to her. Anyway, she had to, they we're basically gonna capture her and take her in the baby. And they were gonna put him in human trafficking, they think. And the FBI got involved and I guess this happens all the time. And I always wondered like, how do they capture these people? Do they just drive up and 
and capture them and throw them in a white van and drive away. I just, a thought goes right over my head. It's just not something I ever thought about at all. So, um, anyway, thank God she's okay. And the funny part, the funniest part was Shane blurred the guy's face out for the whole video. And he kept saying, am I going to get sued? Whether it's by Chuck E. Cheese or this guy. And then at the end of the video, he said, I was thinking about it and he fucked with my friend and he's, you know, pretty much an asshole. So he unblurred his face and showed his face all over so he can never hurt anyone else, which I just think is just an amazing thing that Shane does. I mean, that was the right thing to do. And, um, in terms of Chuck E. Cheese, I mean, how, how can they sue Shane? And he went and, you know, which is theory. I think, I, should, I think I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I am going to go to Chuck E. Cheese and look at their pizzas. I hate Chuck E. Cheese. I always thought it was like a germ factory. I really didn't take my kids there very well, much. I, I'm a very... I'm, I like... I'm a hand washer and sterilizer and... There's too many things that go around. It's gross, especially when your kids are little. It's such a pain in the ass if you're working or whatever. If your kids get sick, it's horrible. I'm a hand washer. My kids always made fun of me for being, you know, on the plane with the Purell and making them wash their hands. I'll tell you this. If you wash your hands, a, a, you know, a few times a day or after you touch anything, you will not get sick because the easiest way to get a cold is not by getting cold. You don't get... You don't get a cold by getting cold. You get a cold because you touch something with the germs on it, and then you touch your face. You know, you wipe your nose, or you bite your nails, or you touch your eyes, and that's the germs infect you that way. That's how you get a cold. So, enough on that. So, human trafficking. So that brings me to this other story that I was reading over the weekend, which was really, really disturbing to me because it was about this girl who went to the University of Massachusetts and her name was Maura Murray. Nice Irish girl, Maura Murray. Okay, so how the story goes is she died. Well, we don't know if she's dead. She disappeared on February 9th in 2004. Okay, and UMass is in Amherst, which is in the western part of Massachusetts, and so I guess she was having some issues or whatever, so she kind of got in her car, and everyone thought she went for a drive to, like, you know, clear her mind. The roads are really windy around the mountains, just, you know, obviously, and icy and snowy. So she crashed her car, and she didn't want them to call for help, so... They did a search party and they looked for her and they never ever found her and it's been 15 years. So, um, she was also a security, she worked in security at UMass Amherst. So, she hit a tree and a couple who lived nearby called the police, it says, and asked, um, a school bus driver who also lived nearby asked her if she wanted him to call the police and she said no, but he called anyway. Okay. Except when the police got there, she wasn't there. So then I, I believe there was, um, oh, there was a strong odor of alcohol in the car. Okay. So I happen to know that when I was younger, like in my 20s, that... A, a girl I knew got in a car accident right about the same time probably maybe it, no, it was in the 90s so anyway she got in a car accident and she was DUI she knew that she got out of the car and she ran away and they couldn't find her and it was because she was drunk and she didn't want to get a DUI so she ran away and they left the car and and then turned up 24 hours later and you know but they that by then your alcohol is gone so she did that, so they were wondering if um, the box she was drinking and driving, obviously. So, and maybe she ran away, which is totally plausible, right? Okay. Except, 
They've never found her. They've searched, you know, the forest like many times in 15 years. And so her dad had um, some cadaver dogs recently and they hit on um, the basement of a house that's really close by. And so he wants the police to reopen the case and search this house. And that's so freaky. Like, do you think she was hurt and she ran away and knocked on someone's door? Or do you think he somehow kidnapped her? I, I don't know because it's, it's like, I mean, just think about it, like, okay, you get in a car accident and people saw you and they, you don't want help, but you have a DUI pretty much and you're in college and you're working secure. I mean, just imagine you're all by yourself in the White Mountains. It's cold at night in the White Mountains. It's so cold. I can't even tell you. Like, you don't even want to go outside. You're, if it's in February, it's very cold this time of year. So, I don't know. I, um, so I'm curious to see if they get a search warrant to search this guy's, um, this guy's house, you know? And it's so good that her dad has, um, It's so good that his, her dad keeps looking for her, but I just wish him peace. I, it's so sad. Um, I have a child in college and I have another one going next year and um, I just can't imagine. But they release balloons every year for her to, on her anniversary of her death. So good luck to Fred Murray. I think the police should so get a search warrant and try to find this girl. Cause if she is in someone's basement, <clears throat> because they murdered her after that Ugh, it, the, the things people do i just it's incomprehensible but do you guys think they should reopen the case and look for her put it in the comments below so um this food was absolutely delicious one other thing jeffrey star was here in miami this weekend unfortunately i have family here i mean fortunately that i have family here but unfortunately i didn't get to go see jeffrey star if it was any other weekend you know I would have been there. It just was too crazy. And we were trying to have a nice relaxing weekend. And my family, they didn't even know who Jeffree Star was. So I'm bringing them all up to date. Fred Murray said he believes his daughter is dead and the victim of a crime. Others theorized Maud Mora fled to Canada or was injured and wandered off into the woods and died of exposure. Two separate visits by cadaver dogs and a radar scan last fall identified something underneath the basement floor. It's been 15 years and I haven't let up, said Murray, who is now 76 years old. The point is two hit dogs and a radar hit. That's my daughter, I do believe it. Aware of the allegations regarding the home's basement, in the area and have considered and are considering next steps. The area that was searched by law enforcement in the past, including the dogs, uh, they searched before with dogs and nothing of significance was discovered. So it's interesting. Um, it's not clear if that house was ever searched and how is that possible? He said, I don't believe it. For that poor girl, Brittany, um, I'm so glad you figured it out and you live with your mom now and I wish you well and I really liked Shane's video. I did like the cinematography of the eye. Um, I, I thought that was cute. You know, my husband has his little pop socket on the back of his phone and I was like, look, it's the eye on the back of your phone for the Illuminati and things like that. But anyway, I like Shane's conspiracy theories. The fact that they demonetized his last video because it had some stuff was insane. But at this point, I think YouTube is just going crazy and I don't know why they're doing it. They're ruining their platform, but just let people be people and, um, and I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe below. Uh, really, hopefully Ryan will be back in Dublin and he can do a mukbang with me this week. Still trying to convince my other son, Max. He's still in high school, so I think he doesn't really want to be on camera. So I, I get it, I get it. Uh, and my husband, he doesn't, he doesn't want to be on camera just for professional reasons, but he'll join us for mukbang just off camera. So, um, I love you all and I hope you all have a great weekend. Everyone remember to be nice to each other.
Smiles are free and the tea is always hot. Mwah.